In the late 1970s, the Air Force of Taiwan, the Republic of China Air Force, started searching for replacements for their F-5s and F-104s. But after the U.S. had established formal relations with China, Taiwan decided to expand its indigenous defense industry in 1980. In 1982, the U.S.-China joint communique was signed. This limited arms sales to Taiwan, and the U.S. would not sell F-16 fighting falcons or F-20 tiger sharks to the country. The F-20 Tiger Shark had actually been developed largely to meet Taiwanese defense needs. The U.S. did however open the door for the transfer of U.S. technology to Taiwan's defense industry. Aerospace Industrial Development Corporation cooperated with General Dynamics to create the aerodynamic design for a new Taiwanese fighter. The cooperation was restricted and limited General Dynamics work to initial design consulting, but not further development, production or marketing. Many different design concepts were considered. The project was named Lightweight Defense Fighter, a name that later was adjusted to Indigenous Defense Fighter. Aerospace Industrial Development Corporation decided to skip the prototype stage and immediately go into full-scale development, to save time and money. The aircraft is equipped with a GD-53 Golden Dragon Pulse Doppler radar, based on the General Electric ANAPG-67X band radar that was developed for the F-20 Tiger Shark. The radar was further modified to have an enhanced look-down and shoot-down capability. The radar can simultaneously track 10 targets, and engage two of these targets with radar-seeking missiles. Originally, the FCK-1 was intended as a delivery vehicle for Taiwanese nuclear weapons. However the Taiwanese nuclear weapons program was shut down under U.S. pressure, before the aircraft entered service. The first successful test flight was made in late May 1989. The Air Force initially ordered 256 aircraft, which was later adjusted to 130 aircraft. The first aircraft were delivered in February 1994. An upgrade program was completed in 2018, upgrading 71 aircraft to FCK 1C and D standard. The new version has an upgraded radar, electronic countermeasures, two more hardpoints for weapons, and several avionics improvements. <laughs>